Episode 12, From Sunrise to Sunset. And we are live with the season finale of Valor Live. Uh, if you joined us for uh, the long haul, thank you so much for being here for this episode. Let's get right down to it. Uh, hopefully you're all familiar with us, but for a final time in a while, we'll go ahead and introduce ourselves. Hi, my name is Zachary Mayer. I am a voice actor based in Las Vegas, Nevada. You most likely heard me as Dr. Sylvester Ashling in Epitheta Race, and I'm also in various other indie games, animation, web series, parodies, all across the internet. Best place to keep in contact with that is following my Twitter, which I probably don't show enough, but I'll show it right now. Go follow me on there. And next up, uh, we have Francesca. Uh, hi, all. Uh, thanks for watching us uh, for this long period of time. Uh, my name is Francesca Callow. I'm an actor based in New York City right now. Um, I've done shows like Pokemon, uh, Regal, Regal Academy, Clara on Archive 81 Season 2. Um, and I have some... New things coming up that I'm really excited to talk about, but as is the common voiceover phrase, I cannot talk about it yet. Um, but keep an eye out on Twitter and thank you again for watching us and hopefully we'll see you next season. Up next, we have Paul. Hello everybody, I'm Paul Green Dennis. I am a voice actor slash opera singer based out of New York and Heads up, uh, I did a collaboration with um, Sapphire on a Final Fantasy XIV song. I'm keeping things under wrap on what exactly song it is, just out of her privacy. And um, I was in a podcast called on Weeping Cedars, which is a very interesting podcast to say the least. And um, I also do a podcast of my own called The Professional Musician's Guide to Managing Themselves. And also, I am in a couple of indie games that are in development right now. And if you want to find out more of what those are, you can check out my Twitter page if you want to. But otherwise, yeah, let's get the show on the road. <laughs> Up next, we got Tamara. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Tamara Fritz. I am a British American voice actor, uh, most known for my roles in Warframe and Wargroove and a few other indie titles uh, and uh, plenty of commercials and fun stuff. Uh, I've got a short film coming out sometime this year, which I can now talk about kind of, but uh, there's no info being released as of yet. So uh, yeah, uh, keep in touch with me on Twitter at Total Spitfidge. And last, but as always, certainly not least, we have Lily. Hey, uh, I'm Lily Lammers. I'm a Los Angeles-based voice actor, and you can hear me in the background of anime like Hunter Hunter and Welcome to Demon School of Rumacoon. More in the forefront if you want to hear me more like instead of Walla, like in video games like Chronicon or Field of Flower and Stars. I'm also the Voice Wars 2020 champion, which is this cool web series that you can check out. That's a cool vo voice competition. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. that um, an amazing voice actor, Aiden Run, put together. And if you're interested in voice acting, it's great. It's a great resource and it's a fun reality TV show style thing. <laughs> and they say we're not informative. Definitely follow, <laughs> definitely follow uh, if you're interested. This is the time where I shill a whole bunch of different people. Before I get to that, we have a special guest at the end of this episode. Uh, I think we'll leave that up for surprise. You'll definitely hear them uh, uh, by the end of our session. Uh, we have a lot in store for that, so don't go anywhere. I'm sure a lot of you don't go anywhere in the first place, but other people I can uh, shill and promote and just sing all the praises about. Uh, first, as always, uh, Co uh, one of the co-authors of this uh, uh, system that we are using, uh, Austin McKenzie, who has done so much to support and try to uh, promote this show, the system he's been working his butt off, and we have all been very much enjoying as GM and players. Uh, he, I cannot sing his praises enough. Definitely check him out in everything Valorous Games as much as you can. 
uh, everything that's beautiful with the stream, because it's not an easy job. Uh, Charu does so much behind the scenes. Uh, again, never very easy, but the stream always looks great and it's always because of the effort uh, they do behind the scenes. So I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much again for doing what you do. Uh, there's lots of various art that you see throughout the show. The character uh, player arts is done by Six as always. It's wonderful. I think their commission information is also on their Twitter. Same commission information for uh, the NPC artist uh, for who the players interact with. That's from Hart Butler. Very talented artist. I cannot sing their praises enough. Especially, they've been working their butts off all the time, week by week, as I toss them stuff back and forth to draw uh, for the show. Please, please, please go support them however you can. As always, if you don't know already, I'll say it once again. We are using the Valorous Heroic RPG system. Probably will forever be one of my favorite systems. Check us out on uh, ValorousGames.com. We have a PDF version on DriveThruRPG. Best way to support us is, again, on our Patreon, itch.io, and uh, Store Envy, where you can also buy a lot of cool merchandise. Hopefully, a lot of stuff we're going to be tossing that way, too, as we be looking for ways to celebrate the show that we put on for you guys uh, all these past weeks. And with that, I think we're going to go ahead, for the final time in a long while, cover what happened last time this season on Valor Live. Because a band of cavaliers found themselves wrapped up after a night of stalking out and busting a standard chimera smuggling operation. This is one of their last normal jobs as the cavaliers would find themselves uh, roped into helping a young politician known as Esther Satari as they took notice of these capable heroes and invited them uh, to sing their heroics on an important day of remembrance for the sovereign nation. Uh, it was cut short by a band of militaristic looking assailants who engaged the party after attempting to steal a, a historic artifact. Incapacitating their leader, they find out it's a well-regarded knight contracted to the Red Sun, Alay's uh, previous teacher, Von Greymatter Cadigan. As he is apprehended, the party is mysteriously contacted by a slimy-looking looking scientist by the name of Arcos Eden Pollitt, a technology and magical giant uh, that extends their influence all across a monster, with uh, this specific family heading the operations of Celebri. He hands over a mysterious artifact under the guise of sovereign nation history, but is quickly determined to be of something of unknown origin. The party then becomes more familiar with the political rivals um, affiliated with the traditionalists, such as Edith Pollock themselves and the Red Sun, as they talk to the Equalist House representative, Esther, their secretary, Morgan, and his skittish but good-natured boyfriend, Jabari. Esther tasks the party with an important job to escort a popular and well-regarded reporter and internet personality, uh, Lumini Grove. During the escort, the party found themselves attacked on all fronts, having to hop car to car and deploy various tricks and techniques to defend themselves. While things started to look up, a storm of clouds passed over the party as a fast and powerful dragon known as a mortal wind attempted to stop the escort. While defending themselves, they tried to reason with the dragon, knowing full well that they did nothing to anger it. Conflicted about his emotions and actions, the dragon forced itself away, allowing the party to celebrate thereafter with a well-earned rest at the Wonderworks Amusement Park. Their day was interrupted very briefly as Morgan asked for a favor, uh, that being for them uh, to go escort Jabari back and check in on the gathering of mages, many of whom uh, having no place to go and being run out by Eden Pollitt. Uh, Gemma, uh, blessed with... Uh, the grace and years of experience and wisdom was also able to direct Jabari to better accountability and drive to be an equal partner in his own relationship, earning good favor with the mages, uh, such as Louise and Jin. Uh, after, the, after pledging to look into how to reverse the circumstances the mages have, have befallen, 
Sergeant Furaha sent her deputy, Officer Lazcano, to recruit the party to deal with a hostage crisis. As the party started to defuse the situation, they discovered the horrific news that an innocent child named Hoa became possessed by an unknown entity. After safely incapacitating her, the party learned that the very same artifact given to them by Arcos was found in Hoa's possession, and most likely the reason to her predicament. The party are brushed off by the police, minus Faraha and Lazcano, but not before being dumped with the responsibility to seek out a response from Eden Pollitt. In Arcos's lab, when questioned about the artifact, he reveals there is more than he left on about, as uh, he allows the party to make use of it and be uh, brought into a state where the rules of space and time are a little different from our own. Seeing the dragon immortal wind bound by a powerful contract known as a Gesh. Seeing mutual, mutual benefit to assist each other, the party frees immortal wind, disclosing, as he discloses the location where he and other mages lay captive, the basement of Eden Pollitt's home. Alaze discovers much inside the lab as well, such as the existence of a project known as Project Renewal, the artifact having origin with a powerful and illegal mage enclave, and that everything has some relationship to the traditionalists. The party spring into action to free those imprisoned under Eden Pollitt's home, while also running into a powerful purifier known as Probasis Spasimo, but everyone calls him boss. As they dwell uh, deeper and deeper, they find a cloak that seems to garner respect from the Mage Enclave that also surprisingly doesn't belong to Suvite Eden Pollitt, head of the Eden Pollitt family. They reach the chamber holding Immortal Wind, where it's seen that he became free the moment the party was to interact with Eden Pollitt's inner sanctum. They find Eden Pollitt's alternative to enforcing his will as he created a mageborn crafted from Immortal Wind and another innocent mage. Um, as everyone moved through the sanctum to pacify Suvite Eden, Eden Pollitt, uh, they come to trade blows only to seem to temporarily uh, put him on the defensive, but not stopping him. Voss, however, does exactly what he came to do and leaves Suvite as nothing but a soulless husk. After the raid on Eden Pollitt's home, his dirty laundry becomes public outrage, to which Esther suggests the party deal with the other guilty party, the police who falsely arrested and imprisoned these mages. They search the police station for every clue they could get their hands on, as well as digging even further into night involvement into these ordeals, particularly popular nights such as Arsenal and the previously dealt with Grey Matter. When bringing this evidence to the sharp minds of Arcos and Jin to decrypt, the police found it the perfect time to throw their muscle around and arrest the mages based on their involvement with Chimera production and exports. The party, knowing the mages are disturbing and hurting no one, aid the mages as they attempt to flee. Colin comes face to face with Arsenal, previously his idol, hoping to find any sliver of evidence that he's being manipulated or coerced into his actions to which Callan unfortunately is unable to do so. He pledges to do, to do better than Arsenal, putting in even more effort to right his wrongs, to which Arsenal levies all of his, all of his hope and emotion into the one hope that Callan does indeed become the hero that Arsenal was unable to be. The evidence then becomes public knowledge and the and it becomes even more outrage of the police's seeds of corruption and how it become too rice widespread to deal with normally. It eventually attracts the attention of national of the National Defense Initiative or NDI. The agent in charge of the investigation is a woman full of numerous intricacies and complexities, Roxy Stone. She spends very little time dancing around formalities and aims to directly secure the information and opportunities to capture Captain Penrose, who stands at the head of the police corruption. This leads to a party, uh, the party reigning in Roxy as she assaults corrupt officers, yet succeeding in, throw, in uh, stopping Penrose's escape and uh, pinning him down. As they engage Penrose, Roxy lets loose her true power, smashing Penrose into the cement 
as she prepares to work with Sergeant Faraha in trying to restore balance to the city. There laid only one last Titan whose seeds were already planted in the city, Red Sun, uh, and its CEO of the Kelleby branch, Kostya Volkov. The party reminded themselves of what it's like to crack jokes and enjoy the company of friends and family before invest investigating the Red Sun's next scheme winning the public supports of civilians, cavaliers, and aspiring knights. The party begins to reverse the influence of the Red Sun as best they can, whether it be Kalnan and Alay finding mutual alliance with La Lazcano and Full Throttle, Faison trying to make sense of the spiritual complexities in the world around him, including a mysterious individual, as well as Gemma reminding the people of Calibri to not use their, to not put their faith so blindly in others. Just when it looked as though the party had the upper hand, they found themselves without control of themselves as the Red Sun tried to initiate some plan of their own, which was already being, uh, being stalked because of the party's previous alliances. The mysterious individuals revealed themselves uh, to be immortal wind and rely and relay this news to the party while also using his power to restore the party's free will. They fight their way through the Red Sun facility to meet with the mortal wind and stop Volkov. After using their power and knowledge to enter Volkov's offage while also <clears throat> learning of Desmond Strong, they help a mortal wind to his feet as a wounded Volkov attempts to escape. He enters a gargantuan war machine and without hesitation, lifts off in attempt to flee and it is here that we join the party as they ready, ready themselves to end the chaos that My has been plaguing i'm Calibri screaming once and for all <laughs> yes can i have everyone <laughs> yes you can time? are we all gonna do it right this time <laughs> Click your icons and collect. Click final, final the icon. <laughs> like the icon. We'll get it right this time, I promise. Can we do it? Wow! Why is my roll so bad? <laughs> <laughs> Every time! Cursed! You're <laughs> cursed, Lily. <laughs> this is even worse than the last time. Oh, Paul, well, the good thing is Zach <laughs> rolled low, too. Oh, for one. Okay. Almost. Well, almost that's done. A mess back, I think. Zach, are you sure? Mm hmm. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. enough rolling. <laughs> hey, Zach, you should stop rolling. Uh, well, I gotta, I gotta add a mortal winds. That, that I forgot. Well, uh, okay, I'll allow that. Oh yeah, that one you can. Where's, roll. where am I on the turn order? Uh, I think Zach has to add there? you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, you had to. You had to click your uh, your token before rolling to get on the turn order. Gotcha. And sort. Oh, look at a mortal wind. All right. Top of the mortal wind perfect is over. As... At least there's one guy who's below me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. This one. Let's see. Wasn't planning on a mortal wind starting, but. He did have a high initiative. <laughs> Let's Faison see. Faison has one too. You know what? Immortal Winds taking taking heed that he needs to use his speed and prowess to close the gap on Volkov's huge machinery is going to use an attack and move action combination in Passing Storm. And that's gonna target, oh boy, this is the one Woo! thing I wasn't uh, excited about, is having to roll the defense for all these. It'll hit, <laughs> it'll hit both legs and the core at the very least. So, dexterity defenses. One, two, as well as the core itself, three. Is <laughs> I think Immortal Wind crit all three. 
Oh, great. That's the fight's right, over. We're all done. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was so <laughs> easy. <laughs> and oh, goodbye, everyone. And Thanks for the season. <laughs> uh, it was nice knowing you. As a mortal See wind lets out a ferocious roar. Ferocious roar. Where is it? Where is it? It's right here. There we go. <laughs> as all of you hang on uh, to not fall off, as a mortal wind sweeps across the, uh, the hulking machinery, I gotta do damage numbers for all this. How much am I adding? <laughs> oh, uh, my God. oh, so uh, sad. <laughs> 40, 46 oh. plus 76. Maybe there shouldn't have been so many that... rolls. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. That is that is a hundred and that's a hundred and twenty two of my math, not wrong. Wow. Minus minus their defense. So give me one second. So these things. Uh, 120, 122. Plus plus that. Ah, numbers, 122. Plus, <laughs> plus, plus that. And then for the core. 122. Plus that. And boy, howdy, wouldn't you know it? Immortal. Should I give Immortal Wind his, his second action? I, th I think that would spoil the fun. That's... He is a master <laughs> level enemy, but he's an ally. And I think I need the help I could get. So you know what? He's gonna do something else. It's okay. not gonna be his second attack action, but I'm not gonna uh, screw you guys over too much. Because he's gonna use a support action known as the Wind's Blessing. Ooh. Uh, before I let Paul get on to everything, I'll explain a little mechanics about this. You guys remember all the car hopping you did? I hope you can yeah. find. But while you're on the Mortal Wind, uh, his quick speed and uh, strong presence will give you guys plus one in your defense rolls. Uh, mm. Every single one of you guys will also benefit from the wind's blessing as the wind tries to recover you. And now for three turns, I'm going to add on the turn order. Wind's blessing on calculation. Minus one. I, I know stuff about roll 20. Move this up. For the next three turns... You guys will also get another plus one of defense because of the wind's blessing, no matter where you are. Yay! And I think that'll be Immortal Wind's turn. We move to Phazon. Now, I got a question. Since we're close by, would that wind also help us propel onto our foe for a close-up attack? Uh, you want to you like you want to do a jump as like a mortal wind was like kind of diving through. Yeah, I I like that. Um, yeah, I'll even give you a plus one to use the opportune moment to jump on. Uh, to your attack rolls, the move is just. Uh, you know what? Because of that, pick a you know it makes sense. Pick a spot. Pick a spot, just because I don't see why I would make you roll for it. Immortal wins. Because the way we played it before, you could kind of just use your move action and move onto it. But if we're going to play it in the sense of you're doing it as Immortal Wind was rushing, yeah, just pick a spot on the mech. For your guys' awareness, there are five pieces of the machinery that need to be with. Whoa. The all-powerful core unit, two arm units, and two leg units. As long as your techniques hit one of those speed hits the line occupying one of those spears, it'll connect. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take a chance and select the core. The core itself. Yeah. Okay. 
And what technique are you using? And I'm going to use... Heavenly Rush. That makes the most sense, especially since we're kind of using your move and attack action. I'll give you a plus one just in the way we were uh, going about this. So, roll me Heavenly Rush. All right. The core unit is going to pay some stamina to substitute its aura and defend. Um, it's, it, it looks very close. You almost lost your balance as you uh, uh, fly it on, but you're able to muscle through uh, the defensive barrier that the core unit put up. Uh, just a part of Heavenly Rush, I know you need to move through, so let's go ahead and put you there, if that's okay with you, Paul. Yep. Um, but, let's see, 70 damage. Minus... It, or its defense. So I'll add that back. As you hear, as you run across the machinery and tearing up uh, scrap metal by scrap metal, uh, unfortunately, there's no window to peer into what Vol Volkov might be fearing, but you can kind of already tell you guys are starting off strong in this fight, and he feels probably feels a little on the ropes. You still have your support action, uh, if you so choose. But I think, if I remember correctly, because I don't think we short you short this up on a level up. Heavenly Rush, uh, just as you run, as you run, and part of your capoeira moves kind of put yourself to the ground. Correct. Correct. So you do knock yourself prone for now, but I don't think that's gonna matter too much. You're already here. Let's see. The right arm of the unit is going to go ahead and make it a, make an elaborate action to add a little effect. Oh, each turn it was an arm or a leg, I mean. <laughs> is that <laughs> it? <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> uh, it's going to go ahead and I'm going to make it roll a strength a strength move to just add uh, a little flavor to this next attack. Hopefully it rolls well. This is going to take... There's going to be a minus one of the attack itself, but it's still going to get the effect um, for failing that roll. As it's still going to use a boosted punch. Man! Haha! <laughs> 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 Good thing oh, it has a second yeah. arm. <laughs> uh, a little oil there. As uh, this is going to target a uh, three by three square centered on all of you guys still at atop of Immortal Wind. Thankfully, you guys have a nat plus two to your defense. Immortal Wind, however, does not and has to roll normally. Aww. Oh, oh no. no. But I don't think he's going to have any problems. <laughs> nah, Callan's fine. Immortal Wind's fine. I just need... <clears throat> okay. It's uh, defense. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It didn't go through the or first time. Which? Uh, dexterity. Yeah, dexterity defense. Okay, Keep sorry. Minimum roll. It the... Oh, no. Yeah. You guys got your two defense rolls. It... It just clips you guys. It doesn't do. It doesn't do anything. But thankfully, that's right. Yeah. That thankfully, and it comes right after. There is a second arm. No. <laughs> so, you gotta be kidding me! It's gonna be a minus. This is because Steve Stodgers isn't here. <laughs> See, <laughs> yeah. Steve you know, Steve Sodgers was the ori original pilot for this thing. Volkov, oh, we knocked him out. Volkov is kind of playing things by ear. Come on, I need a good roll. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you used them all up last time. I did. Oh, Immortal I hope you did. <laughs> Immortal wins fine. I need you. I need you guys to roll again. Though I doubt it's gonna 
roll even on a miss. Holy! Oh no! Ah! Oh, really? Even. I'm sorry. Minus one on it would Ooh. be a ten. Plus two on your defense, Lily, would be an eight. Eclipse. You. Damn. Talon's fine. Take forty-five damage. Minus, minus your defense. defense. Okay, let me do that one sec. As Luckily, I'm, I'm the tank, so it's okay. <laughs> As I go ahead and oh, man. Do I don't I'm care. A with my thing. There we go. Okay, got it. Work. I, do with stamina I gotta do math. <laughs> That's a critical defense on uh, on Tamara. I don't think we've had a critical defense yet. <laughs> what is that? Uh -huh. A critical. It just like bounces back at you, <laughs> off you. <laughs> No, like it's it, uh, she looks really good. If, if, I'm yeah. a smart, if I'm a smart boy, a critical defense shake you gives the shaking condition onto the enemy that inflicted it. And I think at this point, the way it will kind of represent that, because the shaken overall represents like a minus one on its attack rolls uh, for the foreseeable future, unless Austin corrects me. I'm gonna put it on. This was the the left unit. The left unit. I'm gonna put a little marker on there. We'll flavor it as I think Gemma kind of as it was brushing through, uh, took a hard pull clip and just on a very small crack just lodged it. So now that's like <laughs> it can't bend as much as it really wants to. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. And this was oh, the. Yeah. Oh, this is the wrong unit. I need the left. I need the left arm. There's the left arm. There we go. So now I don't forget. Left arm has a minus one until it removes that condition, which I can hopefully do next time. But otherwise, I really needed those rolls to succeed. He here. <laughs> now you see how it feels. I do. Uh, Kazri, it is your turn. Okay, while it's being shaken by Tamara, I mean, um, Heartshine, um, uh, I would like to just run down on one of Wind's tail and, like, jump off it and onto this Gundam <laughs> mech thing. And then, like, as I'm doing that, just throw the guand out and go, Cataclysmic Crater Cannon! And, like, target the center. Um, I mean, the center of the core. Yeah, the core. I'm gonna give you plus one valor for screaming your name and just that cool imagery. We're gonna treat yeah. this as another elaborate action. And this sounds like kind of your dexterity as you kind of uh, bob and weave and just glide your steps down a mortal wind's tail. If this dexterity roll succeeds, uh, we'll go ahead and give you either a plus one to hit or an extra damage increment on your uh, on your roll, your choice. Cool. Um, I will just roll. Okay. No, that easily succeeds. Uh, Woo! He kind of flips his tail as you kind of fly through the air, uh, spin and throw your guandao of your cataclysmic crater canyon. That's a blast. Yay! That's a blast technique, isn't it? It is. Yes. Um, let me actually uh, type it in. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. On, on here. Okay. Then we'll do with this. Still one, two, three, four. Okay, you can do this without hitting phase on. Just wanted to double check. <laughs> okay. I just, that was also, I didn't, I thought I could do that, but I wasn't sure. I would like to not hit phase on if possible. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully from just, where you're standing, I could see, uh, see a way you angle it to not hit him. Like right. down ish and out ish. <laughs> kind of like. It's going to pay another two stamina to use. It's aura on its defense. Let me do stamina cost. Aura defense. Come on. Yes! Yep. Even, and with your, like, plus one that I don't think you even need, I uh, I just roll... That, what is that? Is a that roll of a three. I've been rolling on two and threes. <laughs> uh, you, strike oh, you strike down uh, with your cataclysmic crater canyon. Uh, and the... The core starts to uh, flicker on a red warning color. You guys are starting to uh, do consecutive, just one after another after another kinds of damage 
Uh, you can hear the machine start to whir as it tries to regain uh, its its grounding. But it's you definitely you guys are definitely starting off strong, not giving Volkov a chance to retaliate. Yes. Did I, did I skip? No, I didn't. Okay. Next is Heartshine. Yay. Okay. All right. Um. So I would like to. I think I'm gonna do a heart bolt clip aimed at. Uh, let's say one of the arm shiny spots that are definitely vulnerable. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> one, one of the arms. Okay. The left or the right arm? Uh, let's go left. All right. Should be able to hit that. The same one you, uh... Same one you, I think, nicked earlier. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Um, let me just look at the technique here. Yes. Should be able to hit that then. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes is seven so it is in range all right uh, i'm gonna take one of my little uh clippies and toss it okay. and i'm gonna just aim it really carefully and then take another clip Ugh! 15 mm. Mm. It, it, uh, Volkov tries to move it a <laughs> 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 uh, As you as you pierce uh, the kind of like you uh, what's what's his name when you split the arrow Robin Hood you kind of split yes. you split your previous <laughs> clip and drive it even deeper and there is a loud audible click as scrap just starts to fall through the air <laughs> and back as you guys are flying forward. That's 59 damage, uh, plus it's defense. I think at that, she's just like, ha, ha, take that, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, uh, I will give I will give you plus one valor because that that gave me quite a good chuckle. <laughs> I, we get to see a heart shine unhinged from all the yes. dumb stuff that's been happening. I'm so fed up. <laughs> As you're tired. Uh, it says left, left unit, left unit, right, right unit. I should rename these. This is the left leg and the right leg. So one, oh. yeah, right leg. So, let's see. What are the leg units gonna do? Oh, they definitely. I'm glad. I'm glad I, I, I changed this up a little bit because I think. Uh, I think at this point they they need to do this. The left, the the right leg, is gonna go ahead, and, uh, first use its jet thruster. Mm. Uh oh. I, uh, what, what is that in that roll of a two? <laughs> um, this target's in a line of seven, so as it angle as it angles as it angles back. Um, let's see. This is the right leg. So, ah, uh, man, it's hard to see the straight lines here. I think it could it could do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's gonna clip. Uh, phase on as you're kind of rolling over on the leg, uh, and you're close to it. You can feel the heat of this thruster, uh, and just the aura of it is intense heat. I do need you to roll defense as a mortal wind does the same. Aura defense. Aura defense. Unless you want to substitute anything. Nope. All right. Here's a mortal winds. I was like, my aura is too strong. For yeah. Me. A mortal wind is fine. Gosh darn it. 
<laughs> you sound upset. That. Okay? I, think, I think face on's good. <laughs> yeah, I do, sure. think, do you think face on is good? Uh, you're able to uh, you, uh, put down a little aura to combat the heat. This this leg unit has a modifier you guys haven't seen yet a dash oh. of three. So it can oh, move three nice. spaces, including this whole. By unit. itself? Yes, it is the leg after all. As it tries to uh, keep some distance. One, two, three. Oh, goodbye. Yeah. And you say goodbye, mm -hmm. I say hello. And, uh, <laughs> it does need to get into a better position. That's what the legs are all about. The second leg will do the same. And this one, I can. Let's see. One from here. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah! Almost, almost got Gemma. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Maybe if you had it moved away. Oh, man. Yeah, well, I made my bed. I hope this is the one that the Jet Thruster gets a good roll on. I, I saw the, <laughs> I had the 3D, 3D dice on and it went from a 10 to a 2. One more oh, win will do the same. It does clip Immortal Wind. That's what I need. Oh, Don't boy. be mean to him. Immortal Wind He's is going to take 42 minus its resistance. Thankfully, as you guys are very aware of, Immortal Wind takes a, needs a lot more than that to bring it down from the sky. And it's going to dash again. I still want to get to the right side for what I have planned, so that's going to be one, two, three. It's so far away. <laughs> I, I don't think I have any attacks that can go that far. That, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> um, uh, you're, so... not, you're not too out of luck. As a support action, you you can tell Immortal Wind to move uh, up to half of its move, which is three. Okay. Um, as my support action? As your support action. You can, okay. Because I'm, I didn't want to toss everything at you again and overwhelm you, but um, now that we're talking about movement, as a support action, you can make Immortal Wind move half its movement. I have another support action I want to do, though. I guess I could do both so that it you, sets everything up to make it easier for next turn. You can trade your own move action as a support action. Okay. In the rules. Um, so I guess uh, I'm going to ask, um, Immortal Wind, if you wouldn't mind, sorry, it moved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, just direct me how, how you want Immortal Wind to move. Yeah, um, I guess, like, around here. <laughs> One, two, um, let's see. Do you want it to move? If it moves down, it'll cl it'll clip it. Uh, uh, this is good. Okay. The only thing is, uh, you would share, you would share it. I'm going to make a GM executive decision that we could keep it there just because with flying, there's altitudes to worry about. So you're kind of below. Okay. I I know flying, I think, works a little differently, but I'm not going to let a mortal wind get any closer than this. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and then I'm going to actually use uh, size up <laughs> okay. um, On for my which... action instead. I'm going to roll intuition. Do I have to choose which leg? <laughs> which unit? That's different. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Man. They're all customized differently. <laughs> I guess. Let's go I, for the... <laughs> if you pick a leg, I will let you use it on both legs. I'm not going to I'm not going to screw you out of that. But the okay. arms, the legs and the core are all okay. different enemies. I guess, hmm, let's go for the legs then. The legs, okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna look it up against size up. You have to roll. make an intuition or resolve. I can just 
defend with intuition or resolve. What is the legs gonna do? Uh, into how smart those legs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's, man. it's gonna, it's gonna, oh, man. does resolve make sense? Resolved are those legs, Zach. I'm gonna pick resolve. And, and it's gonna defend with resolve. That's a nat <laughs> one. Yes. What do I tell you? Okay. It's successful, you learn its current health, stamina, active attributes, and flaws. Yeah. Current health on both legs are 31. Okay. Active attributes on on the legs. Uh, its strongest are strength and spirits with eight and eight. Okay. Its weakest are dexterity and resolve, a four and five respectively. Its its very biggest weakness is intuition out of three. Got so, it. Um, it'll still try to substitute as necessary, but um, targeting its intuition and dexterity is going to put it on a weird offensive because of that. What else do I tell you? I think that's it. Flaws. Or flaws. None. Oh, did, did those legs have flaws? None. <laughs> Beautiful legs. Be flawless legs. <laughs> what we all aspire for are those flawless legs. And boy, howdy, yeah. did Volkov put it in, in its design. Yeah, he um, made I sure to legs. spend leg days on those. I shout all of that information to everyone over the wind <laughs> to let them know. <laughs> They're beautiful legs. They're flawless. <laughs> Why would you need to tell us? Uh, whatever. No, so if you use certain magic or dexterity stuff, it'll be good. We can get rid of them. What do you know mean the... by that? <laughs> like, so my sparkly, magic though. is different than your magic. My magic would probably work better. So. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Uh, you have an so attack. I got a him. scratch on it, though. They're so beautiful. <laughs> we will make them flawed. <laughs> Alay, you have an attack action that you could use to attack. Yeah. Um, I I traded out for my support. That was uh, you could that. Then you have a move action that you could trade up. You get three actions. So oh, <laughs> yeah. You use to move. I just don't want to screw you out of your actions. You yeah. have an attack. You, you could do one of three things. Another support, your own move, or an attack. If you uh, so choose, or else we're moving on. I can't attack, so I'll just move further down. <laughs> okay. uh, I know it's kind of weird with uh, Immortal Wind, but uh, all these like five spaces he takes up. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, that, that is right. One, two, three, four, five. You could he takes up, even though okay. it's kind of weird on the art. So okay. To you where you want to stand. Got it. As you decide on that, thank good. Of course, it's going to be the last unit to go. The very core in of itself. Uh, was the. Uh oh. Let's see. What are you going to do? As your own support action. Do I need to use your support action for anything? I, ca I can use it to help the left arm. I just need to look up Shaken again. As a. You can snap out of condition using support action. Alright, yeah. Then the core unit is gonna use that so the arm doesn't have to worry about that. Um. Before. It's first attack. It's gonna go ahead and conjure up an energy storm centered the exact five by five that Immortal <laughs> Wind is taking up right now. Oh no. Oh. So I need, and that is a that's the roll I needed. Oh I my God. Immortal Wind. Uh, Hardshine in a lay to defend against this. Wow. <laughs> your aura, or if you want to substitute. Uh, Mortal Wind will use its aura. Uh, my aura is. Oh my god. In, so I'm gonna go ahead and what happens if I substitute her? No. You know what? Whatever. I'm not gonna be able to make this. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> <Yeah>. What? 
You did roll max. I did roll max, oh but- Oh my god. That is a hit on the three of you and a crit on a heart shine. And I don't think you guys have the valor to kind is of- Is that with the plus Wait, two? You're, you're, you're right. You're not crit. Ha. Uh-huh. Thank you for reminding me of that, because that would have been bad. But you're going to take 50 damage. Oh, resistance. Yucky. <laughs> Let me do that math. As next, I'm going to do Immortal Wind's Health, by the way. So that's 50. <sighs> Minus your resistance. One day I'll be a quick maths, but not today. And then... <laughs> As you fire from the core. Let me do this. One, two, three, four. Ah, you guys split the bill really nicely. Unless, one, two, three, that's what it's gonna do. <laughs> I got, I gotta, I gotta put on my brain brain big brain mode if I'm going to close the gap in this fight, because you guys are doing very well. <laughs> um, it's going to fire uh, as its second attack action, an energy lance, but I rolled a net one! This going to target this one's going oh, to target Phazon. Uh, well, am I... Am I looking at this right? This is because I, I changed this up a little bit. Line two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, I I, cha I did change this up uh, a little differently than the source I pulled it from. So yeah, in a line of in a line of seven, Phazon, you need to defend with your aura, and so does uh, Heartshine and. Mortal Wind. So Okie doke. Up. Mortal Wind will defend with its aura. Oh, like just watching. <laughs> Phase, uh, phase on. Phase on. Phase on. He's just like, oh, uh, guys. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Your prone's canceled oh, out. Because... I just rolled aura instead of defense. Whoops. Okay. Or okay. defense. Uh. Even so, either roll was going to be fine just because of your plus okay. two defense. Uh, but at this point, uh, Phazon's fine. Every, everyone's everyone's fine. So this this lance kind of goes um, off angle and like all the way uh, to the right of you guys. And I really. Mm. <laughs> that was an interesting first round. Speaking of the <laughs> round, top of the round, everybody gains plus one valor. Yay! E. Mortal wins uh, this turn. And I, I, I think the executive decision is, if I give a mortal wind his second, second action, this fight will be over very soon. <laughs> <laughs> He's so. tired. He's very tired. He can't do a second action. He is very tired. So, um, what he will do is move. You know what? I I'm not. I'm, he does need to get out of this zone. He would do that. So he's gonna carry everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that perfect range? It is perfect range. Um, to at least. To do line line of seven, we'll make it start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not gonna make him play dumb. He's gonna use his miss breath. Thankfully, Immortal Wind's also sharing my bad luck. Not the terrible luck, but each leg unit needs to defend against Hora, which it will gladly do. One, <sighs> two. That at least at least I got one of those. One of the leg units, that's the left leg, is disabled. Eee. So 
we don't need you guys are not gonna have to worry about that anymore the other leg uh kind of using the other the first leg the left leg acting kind of as a shield takes the brunt of it so the right leg uh remains perfectly fine and i think that's gonna be because mortal winds turn yep One more round of Wind Blessing left until it's gone. Phase on. You're currently resting on the close to the core units of Volkov's machine. What's your plan? First things first, use Rolling Recovery. Did you pick up Rolling Recovery? Huh? You uh, you did pick up Rolling Recovery. Huh? Rolling re uh. Rolling recovery. And use, yep. Stand up using a move action. You go mail some move, half your move. Okay. You're you're up. You get um half your move. Where do you want to go? I'm staying put. And I'm actually scratch that. Which leg is disabled? The left one. The left one? Our left, yes. Our left and the right one is uh, still functional. It's weak, but functional. Hmm. I guess I'm going to close in on the... So this leg here. One, two, three. I trust you that being half your move. Okay. Um, and so, uh, that is your move. You got your supports and your attack. What's your plan? I'm gonna use Banshee Strike. That immobilizes. I don't think you can use his move if you do that. All right, yeah. Roll me your Banshee Strike. As it will try to defend. And wait, did I? I use Heavenly Rush. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! You use Heavenly Rush. Reroll me. Reroll me the thingy so we have a good number. There we go. Ah, you cheeky, cheeky. Got it. You got a. It was planned. It was planned. <laughs> I could, I could, uh, I told you to re-roll, and Fate's like, yeah, do you want him to? You roll Max. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's going to make a lot of sense. What can you substitute? Because you don't want to do, he doesn't want to do Dexterity. We're going to do an R defense, it's going to page to Stamina. Nope. Yes. Uh, so... <laughs> Down with you, leg! <laughs> uh, um, as, as you strike and strike and strike, um, it's almost as if, like, not, not enough to send you flying, but, like, you, you strike hard. You strike very hard against his leg, and even more scrap starts just flying across the wind. Um, the leg, both leg units are out, and you're pretty sure that... While the thrusters keeping this mech afloat are still running, it's uh, the the mech itself will be unable to move for some like for some time unless Volkov can think of something. Um, you still have your supports, otherwise we're moving on to the arms. Uh, I'm good. The arms are up then. Ah, bye bye legs. <laughs> Where's where's the arm sheet? There it is. What are the arms gonna do? What it can do? How how does how's this arm unit you know, work? With whirlwinds. The way I play it. Yep. Uh we will go ahead and at least at least for this, 
I'll be nice and it won't target Kazri, but you are, I think, close enough to the arm where this this right are we talking about the right arm yet? Yeah, we're talking about our right arm. Is going to use the technique shake off. Um yeah. I need you to roll against muscle unless you want to substitute. Otherwise, you're gonna take that damage and go flying. Oh, no! Well, okay. Big? Yep, yep, phase on. Oh, Phaeton. Okay. Fa yeah, the right arm. It's just I mean, targeting Phaeton. <laughs> this is a muscle defense. Otherwise, you're you going flying it. and taking 45 damage with that reposition six. Oh. All right. Oh my goodness. Wait. Uh. Uh. uh I have three valor. Uh huh. <laughs> and I would like to help Phaeton. <laughs> you like by to um, using. Deter Wait, which one is it? <laughs> this would be teamer to add three to the roll. Yeah, will that help? I uh, didn't really actually look uh, at the he math. Has his he has the plus one defense boost from Immortal Wind's boost. But even but then, he ties. Yeah, he ties. Someone goes else would to... also need Ugh. to. I don't have enough valor. Never mind. I tried. I'll Goodbye, save Faison. it. Goodbye, Faison. Faison, <laughs> take 45 damage as I'm going to move you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little mean because I think I deserve it. <laughs> Do you, uh, Zach? I, I I get to have a little 22. fun sometimes. Alright, uh, so phase on. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you two choices. Um It'll be a rough landing, a guaranteed rough landing to get back onto uh, Mortal Wind, but you will lose your own health increment just because of the force of the swing. So, in addition to that 45 damage, uh, you'll take an additional 34 without your resistances, or you can attempt to roll and gracefully land back. If you fail, I'm going to strike you with three Valor. So either guarantee damage or roll for the possibility to land safely, lo losing Valor or not losing Valor. The choice is yours. I'm going to take the chance and go and roll for a roll for landing gracefully. Give, give me either a muscle or dexterity roll as you try to catch yourself and not go flying. Okay. Oh boy. The number you need to beat without your boost is 14. Okay. <sighs> what if <laughs> Talon uses. I don't know. It would still be 13. Yeah. Right? Yeah, uh -huh. I, the teamwork would have worked, but this was a this was a really big swing. You are able to land back on the cliff of Immortal Wind's wing. However, you're gonna lose three valor right now and be in the negative. Well, oh, no, no. Being a negative valor. I believe is a minus one uh, to, I don't think it's attack. I think it's all your rolls until you're able to recover. I think oh. some of you have this, some skills to help circumvent that. And that was uh. one of the arms. <sighs> the second arm is gonna Again, this the, the little trick I wanted to do and get a plus one towards it. Please roll that four. Nope, not the 14 I needed. I'm a fair uh, GM. Uh, uh, it's going to take uh, a minus uh. one to its attack, but use the same boosted punch on a three by three area. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yep. A lay, heart shine, and a mortal wind. Mean. It takes. Please give me a roll. No. Ha 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 
nice, nice. Um, nice. and if we have one Valor, we can substitute Resolve, right? If you have two Valor, you can substitute Oh, it's two resolve. Valor. I thought it was one, sorry. Um, okay. This is a Mortal Wind's defense. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. You need to roll, like, I think a one. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Did no. I get a hit? <laughs> Wait, don't I have plus two on a mortal wind? But yeah. Then yeah, it goes to the attacker. Ty goes to attacker. Uh, unless, I'm learning the rules. Unless Kazari, have a plus one. this one would work. Okay, but I have another plan to help. Oh yeah, I'm so good. I'll take I... it. I'll just take it. Take. Oh my god. Do you, are you <laughs> close to critting? <laughs> um, no, I'm fine. You know okay. what? All right. I have a lot of health. Then Are you sure? The status I mean, I effect. can use it. I don't mind. <laughs> no, I'm good. The status effect that it's actually one of that's introduced in the tools of the trade that you can find on itch.io, I'm pretty sure. Austin will correct me. But you're gonna get a a status known as held. Oh. Uh oh. Is held. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is so nice. I'm, I love being held. <laughs> Please send her arms. Oh, like, I don't know, I don't know if you'll love it for too long. Uh, I will get an exact definition. Yeah. In a second. <laughs> Just but being cradled by a giant robot, as I've always wished. Yeah. Uh, we, we could go with that for a while. Just cuddled. Uh, but as I get that definition for you, because, uh, this was a little <laughs> impromptu little attack, uh, Kazari, it is your turn. Okay, well, I'm gonna use a support action to inspire Phazon. Wait, can I do that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Plus what allies who don't have more valor than you gain one valor! That is correct. Also, Alay. You're here now as you are held in the arms. Oh no! <laughs> Cradled! I'm Cradled. snuggling. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like King Kong! This is so yeah. romantic! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say to Faison, Mr. Faison! Uh, hang in there, you can do it! And fire him. SP, take a valor because you're being inspired. Yay! Thanks for the, thanks for the help, kid. I ain't down yet. Ah! Yeah. That is, that is your support action. You Me. have a move um, and an attack. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so just curious, Zach. Um, can you tell uh -huh. me a little more about passing storm? Passing storm. Like as as an attack, like how it works and. Is it just like he moves very quickly and attacks things on his way, or? Are you talking about, because Passing Storm is Immortal Winds technique. Uh, right, yes. right, right. Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> Immortal Winds, a technique, is you combine your move and an attack action and affect everything that is, like, around your circle that you move. You'll automatically hit this unit. If you move to any other unit, such as one of the one arm or the other, You'll also target it while also. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm gonna be like, Immortal Wind, that was so awesome! I'm gonna try it! And I'm gonna do pass. Um, awesome, let me try Passing Storm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give and I would like to move. Mm, but if I move to the arm that it's holding a lay, will it also then hit a lay? Because mm. because of the way uh, Immortal Wind's Passing Storm works, um, yes. Technically, okay. it should have hit all of you guys at the same time, and I didn't allow this to happen. So I'm going to allow you the same grace. I am I want you to give me... This is a dexterity roll for your mimic, right? Roll me dexterity yes. flat, and I'll tell you what okay. happens. 17. Perfect. Um, if you move over to a lay, uh, I'm going to give you the benefits of a skill you don't have, and I think it's called discretion. I might be wrong on what it's called. Does casting have that? 
No, uh, I'm gonna give it. No. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you this one and only grace of it, where on a lay's opposed roll, you can make it so your roll is a minus three, which kind of acts as a plus three of defense to a lay, if you want to target okay. that arm specifically. Um, yeah, I'm just worried that what if it releases her, she will fall. No, is I'm that, not that going? Big. Okay. You're fine with hurting me? That's just your concern? No, I'm worried that you're going to fall. Thanks, is how. And, and take damage at the same time. I'm not that mean. I'm not even okay. halfway to critical, so it's okay. Okay, great. Then, uh, yeah, let's, let's do it. I'm gonna pass through this storm over here. <laughs> and, and, uh... <laughs> I can make so many like fart jokes, but I won't. Um, and, uh, I'm going to just go this way and attack and like end up, I guess I'll end up past it, right? Here. Uh, on it. Here. I don't really uh, know what I'll end up. <laughs> you can end up on any space you want, so long as it's within your move. Okay, like my own movements, right? Yeah, your own, your own move. Okay. So... LA, this is held. This is important too because if the arm takes uh, oh. enough damage equal to an increment of its own damage, which I think this will be, it'll break the held. Oh, cool. But that cool. is if Kazari hits. Uh, so I need. I need you to roll. Roll me another deck. Do you have any as the arm will do. Oh no! no! Oh no! Oh, I got a oh, ten. That's their defense. I needed that. Well, oh, I tried. <laughs> uh, substitute aura for the core. It's gonna pay two stamina to do that. Uh, oh, you no. can. You can determination this. Um, yeah, but it won't. It won't. Uh, it won't beat it. Determination gives you a plus five. Oh, really? Oh, yeah! If you help then it will hit me, though. I rolled really badly. <laughs> this will hit, this will hit, Lily. If you do. Oh, I'm shoot. I should be fine if you don't do it because of the minus three and then the plus one from, so. But okay, if you so do, I will to, get hit, so you can decide. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna sit here and then I'm gonna be like, whoa, did you see that? That was... That was great. <laughs> and then it'll be like, um, oh wait, are you okay? <laughs> Gonna like, lean over the finger. <laughs> I'm held. <laughs> it looks kind of comfy. <laughs> it's, I thought it would be comfier. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It is metal. Yeah. Focus, you two. This is no laughing matter. <laughs> might punish you, Faison, for that unsportsmanlike behavior. That is so god that is so in character for Faison, I will give you another valor. That is we know Faison well enough that that is such an in-character moment for him. I'll give you a valor. Uh but you're gonna bank you're gonna bank uh your valor and not hit anybody, correct, Kazri? Correct. Cool, don't have to do any damage calcs. Unfortunately, Kazri. Oh no. Your support action was to inspire uh Phazon. Your move and attack was this passing storm. This is your second round of combat. Wait, he I said, said wasn't that cool? Yeah, I just wasn't enthusiastic about it. <laughs> but he said wasn't that cool? Mm. I said I thought that wow, was on purpose. Immortal win wasn't that great? As as a compul <laughs> your compulsion uh, is to requires a support action mechanically, uh, but I, I will meet you uh, halfway. Okay, okay. Because of this fun RP you guys done, you'll lose <laughs> two, and I'm giving you one. So it's a nat minus one of your valor. Okay. That sound fair? Minus one. Yes, that's fine. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I'll be even nicer, and I'll give Elay that same valor because she also participated in the scene. <laughs> okay, thank you. 
<laughs> I'm not You're that so kind. Mean. I'm not that mean of a GM. <laughs> <laughs> Next is Heartshine, though. Okay, so I'm the only one left on on the Immortal Wind, uh, but uh -huh. I am going to go down and help Faison. So I'm going to move down onto the wing and help Faison up, if that's possible. Uh, you know, I should have. I should have knocked Faze on prone, so I, I'll let you, yeah, use, I'll let you, mm, mechanically, how does helping people up to their feet? I don't think there's rules for that. I'm just going to let it happen as, as your support, yeah. Yeah, as a support action, I figured that might work. So Faze <laughs> doesn't have to burn his move support to get up, so there's that. Um, so I think that's, because you're up there moving support, so I think you just have your attack. Yeah, just, um, I think Gemma reaches out a hand and, and it's just like, uh, Come on, grab on! We need you! Up on your it. feet, man! Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Gemma. Got you. Fight. I give him a little, like, pat on the back, like, hell yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Don't be <being> useful. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, and then I would like to use my attack action. If I can get a clear shot um, on, I want to say, I'm going to go for the central core, um, and I'm going to hit it with my uh, heart beam. Uh, your, the central core with a heart beam. Okay. Uh, how, what's the line range on that? Uh... It is, is you, so get a clear length shot. seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's yeah, yeah, because you're gonna hit these spots as well. As okay. well. Okay. Just give me one second. I'm, I'm looking at something. Yeah, because I have a line seven. Uh, if I was playing everything by the books of how I'm running this, this wouldn't work. But I don't want to be mean, so I will allow. The, <laughs> I will allow this to work. My own. My only thing to make make uh, some even ground here. The angle at which you're doing this, and the way I've, I've set up this fight, this is going to take a minus one to hit. But I don't think that's going to matter too too much. We'll see. Okay, because it is piercing, so. Okay. Then it will ignore its resistances, which I'm going to tell you right now is probably a good thing. But go ahead and roll me, uh, roll me your technique. Yeah, I'm going to extend my hand and the energy's going to build up and I'm just going to super sparkle heart beam. Come on! <laughs> Take a valor. There's the defense. Um, 13 versus a 16. I'm giving you a Valor. If you want to use it to make this hit, you can. Um. Um. If anyone hmm. wants to use it, nobody can use a Teamwork. You guys are too low on Valor. But you can. That's fine. Um, no, I think I'll miss on this one. Okay. I'll accept the miss. I'm gonna, okay. Ugh, uh, damn it! Stay still, you giant hunk of metal! As your beam kind of goes uh, off kilter a little bit, the legs are disabled. Almost at the bottom of the round, and I think we'll take a little break. It'll be the right time. Alay, you are held. I sure am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing tonight? <laughs> Uh, just as a reminder, you can't move. Okay. Uh, as you, you can't use your, you can't use a move action. You're gonna take a minus one to defense rolls until you break free. Um. I'm just trying to see if there's anything you could do to kind of fight this. I mean, I I can't move, but I could attack, right? You could attack. Yeah. <laughs> Even in the and if you and if you hit, and I think you'll do enough damage to break yourself free. Um, so I want to, I also, I'm in a very good position to look it over. So I want, can I size up again? I don't see why not. 
<laughs> I think I'm pretty close. <laughs> yeah. I have a good idea of how this arm works. You know what? I like the I like the idea so much of you just staring at the palm. It, I'll give this a plus one for what you. Oh, I got a seventeen. <laughs> Yeah. Um, either mm. Intuition or resolve. I don't think I could beat it. Yeah, even I want to do arms. <laughs> even if I roll a ten, I don't think I could beat it. Okay. Uh, both arms. Uh, this left arm, ninety-one health. Uh, right arm, one hundred and twenty health. These are beefier than the legs, Zach. Uh, Mortal Wind also did a good. Chunk. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I forgot. Active attributes. Um. Strength and agility are maxed out on the arms. Uh, never, never skipped arm day. Resolve is next highest. Then aura, intuition. Any target on intuition will probably force it onto the defensive because its intuition is a two. Okay. Flaws um. No. So I'm going to use. Um, let me pull it up. Um, plain old saber, and I like. Like, cause I'm in the arm. It's like, you know, like when a lion gets something stuck in its claw, I'm like punching the sword into it. <laughs> mm. ah! mm. Seriously? <laughs> well, you are forcing it to be on the defensive. It's You're held to too tight to get your sword loose. It's, yeah. I'll tell you this, there is a possibility you're going to hit. And it's gonna. It has to roll a one as well. No, it rolled a two. Ugh. So you tried. You did it. You tried your best. It's hard being held. It's hard being held. I. This is why you shouldn't let anybody close to you. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Says Gemma, crying. Am I gonna be mean? I'm gonna be mean. Oh no. Oh no. One, three, plus two. Are you gonna be mean, Zach? <laughs> yeah. How could you be uh, mean to that face? One, one, let's see. Let's start from here. One, one, two, three, four, five, and it's a blast of two. One, I can't hit everybody. <laughs> At least you, I sized it up really well. <laughs> as the core unit prepares its ultimate technique, it pays its valor uh, to do so. And it, uh, you know what? I'll be the one grace, and this will this will probably hit its arm. But it, it has such a sure shot right now, I can't pass off the opportunity. It turns uh, red and starts to roar and roar and roar as a huge laser emanates from the core and its destructive mm. blast. Man, I can't mm. roll. <gasps> oh, sad. <laughs> but I'm assuming I'm rolling. Everyone's rolling, even the arm that's holding a lay. I swear, <laughs> if the arm is the one that misses, it, it the arm's the only one it hits. Holy crap! Uh, like substitute defense mm, for the arm. Okay. Holy crap! <laughs> uh, even with the plus two that the people on Immortal Wind have. That's still gonna hit. That's okay. 124 damage. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm having <gasps> trouble opening my thingy. Uh, would you mind doing it for me? While I wait for it to load. <laughs> <laughs> it is at this point that a mortal wind is going to use. I think I can the cover skill. I hope I'm not wrong on this cover. Uh, Craven by with a 16 health points. Uh, yeah. Wait, her. you have 16 health points? Uh, remember your resistance. It is You get your resistance. Oh, back oh. Yeah. I forgot. 
Yes, do not forget that. Um, Zach, I'm having trouble more. with my sheet. Can no you way. roll for me? I, <laughs> um, Thanks. yeah, I've been having that problem too. If you click edit and then back mm. out of edit screen, it's been working for me. Oh, um... the edit is gone. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Well, Cass... I will try next time it appears. <laughs> your aura is a little low. Would you like to substitute either dexterity or resolve? Oh, it worked. But yes, I would love to do that. And I can roll. Okay. Perfect. Great, so, great job, Pazzy. Hey. Ev- Thanks. So, ev- let's see. Everyone is hit. I gotta do a mortal wind before I forget. Where are you, mortal wind? Where does your sheet? There Adding my resistance back for my previous thing, so. Uh, or defense. Good god. Uh. I'm taking 99 damage. Heart shine. How much health do you have in Mortal Winds? Do you want do you want to use cover as the thing? I'm gonna I'm gonna do some quick maths on the Mortal Wind. Uh two three eight. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think I don't think he's gonna take he's gonna use cover. Now now that I'm thinking about it, there's a very there's a very real chance you lose this scene if he covers you. I'm sorry, Heart Shine. No, okay. that's fine. Um, so, yeah, and he's gonna take, he's just gonna take his normal <laughs> damage, minus his resistance. And yeah, I hope you all have done the math. I'm gonna do the core units, um, stamina cost for that, which was this much. When did you know it? It has one more attack. Hey, what? It does. Hey, Zach? Yeah, no, that's... That's... <laughs> it... That's on cooldown. That's on cooldown. So it's going to use... Energy bolts. Okay. Three targets in a range of... Eight. So it is going to target Alay, Phazon, and Kazri. I need four <sighs> defense rolls against this, unless you're going to substitute anything. Otherwise, oh. you're taking 82 damage. Holy shit, um, talking mushrooms. Um, uh. that, is a, that is a failure, so you're going to take 82. I'm going to roll dexterity and take the stamina. Um, oh. Callan, that is a... That is a... Those are... Th- even with the buffs, uh, Paul will get a plus two, Callan get a plus one, Lily's plus one is negated by being held, which somehow missed the arm. Don't know how that happened. So you're just going to take 82 minus resistance. Oh my god. I am at critical health now. Oh my god. <laughs> <That's> good news. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot's happening because if I'm not mistaken, Phazon. I'm down. You're in. No! Oh. Oh, that's bad. Uh, who has the despair <sighs> flaw? God damn it, I have despair. Zach, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> did you do? decide that tonight you kill us? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. To be fair, he did roll like poo on his destruction blast. <laughs> that was a no. two roll. <laughs> I could only throw so many bones. Oh Whoever has the spare, lose two valor. God damn it. Oh. My valor! <laughs> my valor! Also, Mr. Faison! I'm <laughs> dropping all of my valor. <laughs> I love that death scream. Damn you! You damn you, Kostov! Uh, 
For if someone is able to bring you back from incapacitated states, take a Valor phase on and don't lose it. Um, I, I, I have am unfamiliar with incapacitated states, so we'll talk about that on on this upcoming break. The party okay. are having the the turns tabled on them. The turns tabled, <laughs> table turn. Oh, oh, oh so uh, tabled. Oh, will the turn tables? Will the party be able to come back from those? powerful blows we'll we'll find out very soon we'll be back in about 10 to 15 at 8 45 we'll be right back <sighs> and we are back uh for the rest of this finale episode this would be where the core unit's turn ended, but he's got some support action, and I forgot he has a little trick up his sleeve. Hey, what? Uh-huh. Wait, yeah, what? Hey, Zach? <laughs> so incapacitating me, was it enough? Oh, don't worry about it. Um, it's just gonna go ahead and five, five spaces. One, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. I'm gonna put it right. I'm gonna put it right there. Uh, an attack node comes out and uh, hovers around all of you from right there. Oh, and cool. And Immortal Wind is still technically clipped by uh, the one persistent oh, no. effect of. No, no, no. Of the core unit, the energy storm. So I'm gonna roll that again. And I'm gonna make Immortal Wind defend one more time, and then we'll get uh, to the top of the round in a second. Immortal Wind, what is that? It's an aura. Oh boy, you might be crit. You you might actually be crit. No, oh. no, no, he no. Crit, but he will take oh, my God. 50 damage minus his resistance. Okay. So. I'm very stressed. Yeah, you probably you probably be knocked out if uh, you, you try to shield Jim away. So top of the round, everybody gain plus one valor. Uh, I believe even Phazon. Does he? Ah, I'll I'll give Phazon as he as he meditates uh, in his unconscious state. I don't even <laughs> care if that's wrong. Uh, but <laughs> you guys look up, and as as you look up, uh, you see two figures falling from the sky. You think it would take either the genius of Red Sun or Immortal Wind's grace to get up this high. And these two figures managed to get even higher. Um, our special guest uh, playing a familiar face for those of you uh, who might know the Valorous system from its infancy. Uh, please welcome Jenna McKenzie. Uh, as Gabrielle and or and Orvin, I believe. Orvin. Orvin. Hi, Gab please save us. <laughs> We're working on Welcome. it. Gab yes. Coming. Please give me. Yeah. Please give me back on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I can drop down. Pick a spot. Pick any Let's spot for the two of you. I get, you should have access to move. Uh. uh Orvin. Am I saying it right? Or Orvin? Or 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 Orvin. Orvin. Like, Orvin. 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 Like Orson or Orvin. Orvin. Or Win. Or yes. Or Orvin. Okay. <laughs> uh, pick pick any two spots that they end up. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to land. The head has a hitbox, right? Ah. Uh... The head, not necessarily. It's the core. You, you see, you see these orbs, these purple and blue orbs. Mm -hmm. Those, those are the squares, and they kind of inhibit like kind of a four by four area. So like this arm's a four by four, this uh, four by four for the for the core. But yeah, the head is probably a good enough as a place to smack this thing. Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna land right around. We'll stay by the core here just for ease sake. Okay. Um, and what I am going to do is I'm going to um, 
take my giant lance and use a lightning blast hitting the core and let's see it hits in a line of seven right, I'm, I'm just gonna add gabrielle to turn order and you know what screw it you, you'll you'll start the round i'll give you an 18. all right let's see here and roll it All right, Ooh. lightning blast. Got to get the so line line. Uh, you said it was a line, right? Do I just mm -hmm. worry about the core, or is anything else getting targeted? Um, I don't believe that I can target. Oh no, I. Mm, if it's a line, I can't. Mm. God. A line? Yeah, you could probably like uh one two and like clip like these for say and get the the right arm and the core. Yeah, let's do it. All right. I'll roll both for defense then. Uh, here is the core's defense. That is an aura roll, right? Okay, aura defense for that. And the arms aura defense. Do I want it? No, I definitely want to substitute that dexterity. Ah! <laughs> yes. Give so, me that extra damage. Tell me how much as I do the math on the arm. It is looks like it is 70 plus let me take a look at my 70, damage increment I'm gonna do 74. Uh, damage increment is another 10. damage increment is another 10. Mm -hmm. okay so uh i'll do another 10 on top of the arm and you in the core should be fine i need i need to do the core's resistance then so that's gonna be a blah 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 all right. Uh, to the rest of the party, it's it's almost as if an angel just descended. <laughs> None of you know who this who this girl is, but if anything's to be clear about that, one, she is an ally. Two, a powerful one at that. And so, as I'm standing here, I'm gonna put my hand on my hip. Orban's gonna land on my shoulder and just be like, "Sup." Uh, where did uh, you come from? Uh, the sky? Uh, oh, like, but... Huh? Yeah, the, the sky? That doesn't matter right now, we have to fight! I'm berserk. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she needs someone to catch these hands. I just, I just, I just love that. I just, that she's berserk, Curtsy. <laughs> uh, Gabrielle and LA, take a valor for the really fun role play. Uh, Gabrielle, I think you. Let's say your move was dropping in. That was your attack. Do you have a support you want to burn in any way before you move to Immortal Winds? Mm -hmm. I'm good. Immortal Winds turn then. Oh, Immortal Winds. Is it time? Is it time for you to do to do your thing? I, it's as good as time as any. Immortal Wind uh, turns and looks towards you, Callan. Um. As, as he looks towards you, uh, it's it's inexplainable. It's it's really hard to uh, really describe what exactly is happening. But as you two lock eyes, uh, it's as almost as if you've been filled with such determination and vigor to not let down any of your friends to finish this fight once and for all. He is targeting you with a transform ally ultimate technique and immortal bond. Gain 100 health. Uh -oh. All active attributes are getting a plus one. You you're given. I'll let you flavor this however this works, but you're getting access to the fly skill and the unyielding determination skill. Unyielding determination. And I'll retroactively, I will retroactively do this to be nice. At the start of every round, instead of gaining one valor, you gain two. <gasps> okay, 
as I lock eyes with my dragon friend, who is now my immortal bond, um, I it doesn't say anything. But like, Callan is upset because of Faison, so like, there were like tears going through his eyes, and he just like sniffles and like wipes them away, and then just says, "Don't worry, Mister Immortal Wind, I won't let you down. We can do this." And then he like turns and he just goes like, "Ah!" and like gets in a fighting stance, and that's it. Okie dokie. To start flying, just pay for stamina, and you can and you can fly from thereafter. Oh my goodness! Okay. Uh, paying another four stamina every round. Cool, 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 cool. Mm-hmm. While you are flying, um, this isn't gonna this isn't gonna come into play too too much. But you do not have to worry about pretty much any type of movement at this point. Yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, should I pay it now or like on, on my turn? Uh, rules as ri- rules as w- written. You go always pay for stamina at the start of the battle to start immediately flying because of the way this working is a technique. I'll let you pay for stamina right now for free and start flying with no problem. Yes. And then as he like lives off of there, he just like laughs. He's like, I always knew I needed to be a dragon. <laughs> you can fly, you can fly, you can fly. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Like that little is... wing sprout. <laughs> no I'm kidding. Immortal Wind now needs to uh, show that he uh, will leverage his own power to make sure that every. This mecha is defeated once and for all. Hmm. How how is this gonna work though? I I know exactly how it's gonna work. Uh. He's going. He's going to. He's he is going to move into here, but just for a second. Because this will be the right position for him to use rending wings. And as a whirlwind attack, not going to worry about hitting anybody. Should he take Faison's body? (laughs) 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 Just like... (laughs) The details. The details. (laughs) The, The details, yes. As the core will have to defend itself as well as the arm units. Uh, so this is a dexterity defense. This is the arm. Arm takes damage. This is the core. As it def- uh, core core takes damage. Um shoot, that could that could eat, that could be a crit, but you know what? How much how much valor does he have? He is going to spend the valor to turn that into a crit on both. Which arm is it? Uh, or not on uh, both. Uh, the arm holding a lay right now. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> he, he will spend uh, three of his valor. I, I did have him retain the ability to take two valor as a master per round, but he's gonna take five to that roll. It won't it won't crit the arm, but it will crit the head as the wings uh, pop open. Uh, part of the helm of this robot you see uh you can more vividly see volkov the wind is now pounding at him as he continues to fly let me do the damage on everything mortal wind how much damage do you do in total 46 plus 86 what is that i think i did this before that is 130 132 woo woo is that enough for it to lose its holding status over me? Oh, uh, on the arm? Abs- absolutely. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> at, it's no he, longer held. You are no you are no longer held as uh, in caress in the... I think I like, like, ah! <laughs> like, I take the... Obviously, it's a mortal wind, dude, but I take the moment to push out. <laughs> mm. And the arm, I 
got to do their defense. Uh, that's, and it, and it almost as if in a blink of an eye, the turn's almost tabled in your favor in this way. This is the last round. You guys will also be receiving the wind's blessing. Also, I'm not going to purposely leave uh, this uh, Immortal Wind phase on and Gemma in here as a support. Um, you can move three. He is going to try to move everybody out. So, uh, one, two, three. Need to get everybody. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, <laughs> he, he will gladly take the next damage if it means protecting you. Oh my gosh. Aww. I love Immortal Wind. As he flaps even harder. That that'll be that'll be my what is this? Uh meeting halfway with him not holding his whole master class <laughs> as a benevolent boss. DM move. <laughs> so kind. Phazon <laughs> is incapacitated. So we will move on. It is the arms turns now. And both are still active. Even even if they're very much hurt. Um, let's see. We're looking at the right arm, right? Um, hmm. Yeah, that makes the most sense for it. It's going to. It's going to do. It's a little tricky again to try to re obtain the hold status. Thank goodness. <laughs> it won't get a bonus to attack, but at least I don't have to take a penalty. Uh, and target that 3x3 three three square, that's going to only be Heartshine and Immortal Wind. So I need both of you to defend against the mm. NINE! <laughs> <laughs> and Immortal Wind's fine. Uh, let me just grab my defense. Please, please. 12, thank god. <laughs> Alright. Um, as... Immortal Wind uh, ducks out of the way again, returns back uh, to avoid the arm swing as we move over to the left arm. And it's going to do something a little different, but familiar at the same time. Uh, as I'm going to give, Callum, because you're flying, I'm going to give you a plus one naturally to defend against this. Uh, okay. But it's going to try to shake both you and Alay off. I rolled on that one. Um, <laughs> I need both of you to defend with muscle or substitute any other stat you desire. Okay. As a well, it's bad. All your attributes have a plus one. I think I can put that on your sheet so I don't have to forget. Oh, wait. Uh oh. Well, hey! <laughs> Cassery! I'm going to hit all rolls. <laughs> so. Mm. You, you, oh, you didn't substitute. <laughs> No, Cassie. because I was like, I was really like, I thought that I could beat a nine. <laughs> you were confident. You're hubris. You're That's very in character. Uh, Kazari's hubris <laughs> comes to bite him in, in the bum. As you're going to take 45 damage then, minus your defense. Oh, that's and it's cool. it, will, it will It will make you fly, though. Um, but I'm already flying. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Thankfully, you don't have to do any fancy acrobatic rolls to hold yourself because you are already flying. Thanks, Immortal Wind! I'm just gonna flap my arms even for effect. <laughs> <laughs> arms gonna take. And like kick my legs like I'm swimming. Stamina cost. Oh, like, oh no, like, baby! Just treading water He's here. So cute. <laughs> Second, I'm forgetting stuff. Retroactively doing stamina cost that I've been forgetting, and we can move on. Kazari, it is, it is okay. Your turn. You probably want to get out well, of the energy storm. Yeah, I would like to um. One, two, three, four. Yay! Um, okay. And then I would like to attack with. Uh, oh, shoot. Hmm. Oh, I can do. Oh, no, wait. Hmm. 
Uh oh, hold on. <sighs> I was going to use Sparking Stone Steel, but I don't think I can. I am too far away. So. Uh -huh. So sad. Mm. Um. I guess the only thing I can do is really another Cataclysmic Crater Cannon. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Um. And I'm just gonna like throw the Guan Dao at, at the left arm here. Um, All right. Oh Already... shoot! But there's a blast radius of one. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Uh, hold on. Let's see. <laughs> one, two. You could, you could, you could hit here. You, you don't have to target yourself with the blast, but it, it, it guarantees you okay. hits and avoid hitting a uh, lay. Thank you. Oh, great. Yeah, let's do that. I want to okay. do that. Oh, so, roll me Cataclysmic Crater Canyon. 20! 20? I don't see the 20 yet. Oh, there it oh. is. Uh -oh. Well, this is the best way it could defend itself. You might crit it. No, it, I, I got a lucky roll. But here's the good news. Mm -hmm. The left arm is disabled. So oh! You do not have to worry about it anymore. Yay! Um, and like still treading water, I'd be like, "Oh wait, are, are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm sorry. I was just trying to be nice." <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Kazu. You still have my mom back. warned me about this. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, Kazu. I forgot. You still have a support action. Would you like to use it? Um, do, yes, if I can. Hold on. Uh -huh. Um, how does the stereo order do? Do an increment of damage on your next attack. I don't think I can do anything fun, though, well, so. Increment of damage. Oh, you wanted to use, what was it called, faint? I was thinking of faint, but then I realized it was too late to use faint. I, I will, <laughs> I, I just attacked. <laughs> I will let you retroactively, I will let you retroactively use it. Um, okay. Thanks, just, Zach. Yeah, no, no problem. Um, oppose dexterity or intuition roll. So roll your dex, and the two units will do the same. Okay, I'll just roll sixteen. This is the arm. Um, you you do an extra damage to the already defeated arm. Yay! <laughs> and the <laughs> core unit is going to try to do the same. Uh, it's going to use intuition. You do an extra increment of damage. Woo! What's your, what's your damage increment? Tell me the number. It'll be on your um, it attributes is... page. The first page. The damage uh, 14. An extra 14 to the core. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna remember that number. 14. So I'm gonna see. I, cause I, I like how you guys are uh, using pulling out all the stops. All right. Part <laughs> time. All right. It's time to unveil. My secret technique. Oh. Woo! <laughs> I think seeing Faison go down um, shook her, and she's like, "Okay, I can't, I can't hold back anymore. There's got to be something I can do." Um, I imagine she probably had a similar technique when she was younger, but this is something new, something different. Um, there's this like magenta energy that kind of just surrounds her as uh like her magical clothes kind of like shimmer and reshapen into something that's completely new uh she has like these half sleeves that come down a giant like a vest coat kind of thing that just materializes um and she has like this sort of fire in her eyes as she performs her rose colored Heartbreak Mirage! Mm, okay. I, I would ask you to pay a valor, but I'm going to give you that valor it costs. Okay. Go um, ahead. I'm busy. Go ahead and gain the benefits. Um, okay. 50 health, plus one to all your active attributes. Okay. Uh, does it automatically do it if I press use technique or... Yeah. Uh, okay. Or if you use it, uh, it just gives me things to worry about. Go ahead and add the stats to you. I'm going to give sure. you the same all-roll bonus I gave to 
Kazari. So you are now also able okay. to fly. You got the class yes. ability, which I, I I will trust for you to remember the mechanics on. Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember everything I can do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe clashing uh, borrows on counter your counterattack skill, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So I have to, when I perform a successful uh, counterattack, I think, Mm -hmm. Instead of like counter attacking, I can redirect the attack. I think is how it works. I have the book open. If just you in case. out roll on a clash, you cancel the attack and your technique hits. Yes, 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 yes. That is it. An area shield, which I I think that I because you got like uh your ability to cover. I think correct. Every time you make yeah. a defense roll against a blast. Okay, so that's that's a reaction. Got it. Okay. Cool. But yeah, uh, uh, go ahead and heal yourself if you haven't already. Um, yep, I already have, did that. Yeah, free flight. So I think you don't even need to pay. Maintaining flight costs no stamina, so you you could just so choose to fly. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna lift off a little bit of uh, flying on Immortal Wind, probably just keeping the speed. But uh, and uh, I will use a support action. Um, an additional support action instead of a movement, I guess, okay. to um, heal uh, heal Faison with my healing heart technique. Healing heart technique. Okay. Rab. That just works. Faison, take 27 health. And when your turn... I... I will... I'm going to move you in a turn order right after Gemma. So we don't lose your turn. If that's okay with you. You have at most an attack action that could be anything else, uh, Heartshine. Okay. Um I will Hmm. Okay, so the I'm just seeing here. I'm not gonna move, obviously. Uh can I attack the core? Uh, with what? Uh, with, like, a heart bolt clip. Yeah, I think you're in range. Uh, what's the range on Yeah, that? it should be. 12? Yeah, it's, it's ah, real easy, long. easy. Real long. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think, I think this is your, this is your second heart bolt clip as a technique. As a technique, yes. So um, I, think, okay. I did use one as, like, a reaction thing, but that was kind of just... That was flavor. That wasn't the Yeah, idea. that was a flavor thing. But I think I have one more attack with that. Okay. Roll me heartbolt clip. The core will defend itself with um Ooh. Yeah, yeah, it is it's gonna try to uh roll <laughs> more defense. Please, please, please. It it definitely hits. It is within it is within I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Uh, so it's gonna take 59 minus... So I have a question, um, because yes. I used that technique, um, was that... Did you add the plus one to my stats, or is that supposed to be... Okay, alright, cool. I just I, wanna I, make sure that was accounted for. Yeah, uh, on the bonuses, you see on the bottom where it says all rolls, I gave you a plus one now. Oh, okay. So we don't have to do any math. Excellent! Love that! Yeah! Programming is a fun language. Hate it to death. <laughs> oh, All right, that's it for me. But SP, um, after the healing heart beam, you, uh, or yeah, the healing heart, <sighs> you regained your strength. You are prone uh, coming up as you regain your strength, but the floor is yours. Jim, I will pay you the favor. As we take a valor. Not for a friend. Heartshine, take a valor. It's time. Mother, I've heeded your words. It's time. I'm going to activate my um, support technique, my um, ultimate transformation. Okay. Uh, go ahead and hit the roll button just so we can see its name and know exactly what's what's gonna work for you. Okay. 
Okay. Gain 50 health back. You gain the Fighting Spirit skill, which is uh, an, over an Overdrive-related one. You gain Regeneration, which I will kick into. Heal 10, an additional 10 HP, and an additional 10 every single time we reach your turn. And Sprinter. Remember that you now can move even faster than you already did before. Um, flavor this however you want. Time now. There's no way I can't give you another valor for that scream. You have the ability to move and attack. Phase on is over. Is has become encircled with uh, a mysterious and unknown power that's starting to become more familiar and fi familiar with each passing seconds. Something that a, g a gift from an important family member, you could say. But what does Phazon do with it? The core is still active, right? The core and the right arm are the only two units still available. Hmm. I'll do this to help you guys keep track. This arm here, right? This arm, yeah, next to you. I'm gonna test this, put this power to the test right now. Okay. I imagine you use your rolling recovery to move in. All right. Uh... Let's try. Heavenly Rush. <laughs> I like. I'm gonna give this roll a plus one on top of your active attributes one, uh, just because I like the idea of this rolling recovery, uh, Heavenly Rush as you kind of just move with quick and beautiful precision. The 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 coolest display of capoeira arts we have seen from SP thus far. Roll me a uh, heavenly rush. This will put you back down uh, prone afterwards, but boy, it's a spectacle. 16 plus the one is 17, because I already gave you the plus one before you rolled. The arm tries to defend itself, so it needs to be the 17. No. As you roll up into the arm, and it takes 70 damage, and then, uh... <laughs> Time to put this power to the test! Heavenly Rush! With that... Uh, you strike at every joint that connects this arm to the mecha itself. Uh, more scrap metal starts to fly. The orb that powers it fades in color. The only thing left to deal with is the core unit uh, that stands near the head of the mecha itself. Next turn belongs to Alay. 
Yeah. In a furious rage. <laughs> um, so <laughs> she is no longer being held. So she's going to run up to the core, if that's okay. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you make um, it. And she takes her saber and, you know, the little, the little thing, the core of the core. Mm -hmm. She <laughs> slams it inside and goes, Sword of the Stone! I'm going to use my ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> Gain of Valor. I don't know if you pay a Valor Ooh. for that. I don't think I do for mine. I don't have limits on it. Okay. Then just pay the knockdown. Well, that's going to be fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's 12, a crappy roll, in, but... <laughs> 12 intuition, huh? Um, well, can I I spend Valor to do the um, credit, um, make it better? <laughs> you probably want to. Yes, I would like to. <laughs> pay, pay three stamina. That'll turn into a 17. And that will hit. Do you mean pay three valor or? Pay uh, to if you're you can use it to boost your roll, right? Yeah. Pay three valor. Okay, uh, you said pay three stamina. Three valor. Okay. I, I'm sorry. Three valor. <laughs> so I was like, wait. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that turns into a hit onto the core as you drive uh, your saber uh, deep into the core of this unit. The whole robot emits a purple light. Smoke shoots out of the previously defeated left arm. Even more purple smoke shoots out from the right. Uh, the, the leg units do completely fall off. Uh, <laughs> as you hear roaring and roaring of an energy beam, uh, it shoots skyward. The very same sky Gabrielle descended upon uh, as it just goes... It almost re looks as though the purple light's gonna reach space. All of your power driven in, you deal a hefty amount into the core. 90 plus its resistance. It's on its last leg. Oh, damn! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so funny, but it's like, no! <laughs> not, not yet. And I think after realizing that it's still hitting on, um, Alay, who's still like um, in that berserk, is like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, That was really fucking funny. <laughs> I am going to roll disengage. She's going to be like, which is my support action that I heal myself. Okay. Take a breath. Oh You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe you should calm down. I am calm. Uh, I'm calm. Yeah, I'm hey. calm. I'm Look calm. Cool. She's still in berserk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> said through credit to you. I'm calm. <laughs> I've never been calmer. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Volkov knows he's on his last leg. And if he's going to go down, he wants to take at least somebody with him. He looks towards you, uh, Alay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and he does something uh, unheard of. It's a change of tactics to whoever how he was fighting. He uses Energy Storm again, uh, targeting Alay, um, Orvin, and Gabriella, and itself. It doesn't have to, but it seems the core is overloading itself. It takes an additional 50 damage, minus its resistance. Okay. And we roll um, aura. Mm-hmm. As okay. the I as, still have two valors, so I'm gonna do resolve. As the as the core, it, what could best be described as a self destruct. Your last turn. No, you're bez. You're bez. Hold on. You're berserk. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. No. Oh, I was supposed yeah, to get plus your one, and then down. Rose the Defender made it a negative two. I apologize. All attacks are increased by ten, so I should have. Lily. Did I kill Lily. it? 
Oh my god. We we go back ten seconds. That purple. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that shoots into space. This is an alternate the, universe for one is, second. Yeah. <laughs> There's our new Rewind. That purple light as it shoots into space reverses itself and comes back down. The 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 robot itself shoots down with so much force as the rest of you are suspended in the air. Where is did I did I delete Immortal Wind? Are you <laughs> oh, killed no. him? Oh no. Oh, no. I'll bring him back. That's not what I did not mean to delete him. As Immortal Wind He's so uh, small. <laughs> He's a baby. Oh no, he grew. No. <laughs> or as Immortal Wind swoops in to bring back everyone Yay. onto its wings. Yay! Oh, that's the... Hold on. It uh, brings all of you back onto its wings. I'm Louis. pretty sure Orvin can just fly beside it, honestly. <laughs> uh, of course, yeah. Uh, kind of Kayla would like to go over to the side. side that Orvin is on, though, and just, like, <laughs> stare at Orvin. Oh, and he's gonna be like, Is that a dragon? As uh, are you a dragon? I'm right here, yeah. What else would I be? Oh! Um, are you a baby dragon? Um, technically I'm a sophomore, but sure. You're I don't like sophomore? being called baby, though. Yeah, I'm the great sophomore, actually. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> someone told him that he was a sophomore along with me, and he has this idea in his head that it's some kind of amazing thing. It is! It is! <laughs> Mr. Great he, he knows. <laughs> Mr. Great Sophomore, my name is Callan. And he's just going to like go and tell you his whole backstory. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of like float from shoulder to shoulder, listening, chattering on. <laughs> he's just going to be like, <laughs> I'm going to name you Squishy and you shall be mine. Are <laughs> <No. laughs> you sure this is Callan's best day ever? It is. This is his best day ever. <laughs> As the mecha starts to descend and as ascend, Heartshine, you you receive uh, a phone call. As um, as you turn it on, it's not a voice, but a news feed. Um, it seems with all the force that Alay dropped uh, the mecha with. Uh, the robot is crashing down. Into oh, whoops. <laughs> it's it's hard to take the blame for this as as things everyone knows the rule of what comes up has to come down. If it, if it was going to be one thing, it was going to lose its fuel and have to crash uh, per your defeat anyway. And as it comes crashing down and crashing down, Mickey Goodreader uh, <laughs> Channel 9 News exclaims and we're, we're getting sight it seems the reports of the robot that was fighting in the skies we pinpoint this location as it comes down and Alay it couldn't be more heart wrenching of where what it house? came down no <laughs> Something more important. Uh, <laughs> it's um, as you hear an audible thud as a mortal wind flies you down to the site of the wreckage. Uh, it'd be funny if it was my house. <laughs> no! no! <laughs> as it flies <laughs> and it hits. They just canceled, canceled the annual passport program at Disneyland. You can't do this to me. <laughs> there on the roller coaster with no name. I'm sure <gasps> it'll come up. In a few <gasps> moments. But through the efforts of uh, would-be cavaliers such as Tara Vasquez. Uh... 
an evacuation effort throughout the huge uh, amusement park takes place. And with the combined efforts of many capable mages, such as Jin, Arcos, Jabari, and Louise, you would later find in the news reports that there were zero, zero injuries and zero fatalities. Yay. The fatalities one is yet to be seen because as of now, a mortal wind touches down on the desolate amusement park in front of a weakened, almost lifeless body of Kostya Volkov. Can I do something funny before we have a serious scene? Absolutely. Because <laughs> I am still berserk, and we just let you did it to underworks! To underworks! To Just gonna put hands on her shoulders like, it's okay. Breathe. I'm sure. Oh, my birthday! The llama is fine. <laughs> His home is destroyed. He's homeless. Oh no! Ale, calm down. This park will probably be rebuilt anyway. Just say Usa, Usa. I'm just gonna like stand next to her and just be like, okay, come on, come on, deep breaths. Okay, All right, okay, All right. All right, hey. Hey, you're here. Everything's fine. It's gonna be okay. There's plenty of mages here. This was the most wonderful place in the world. <laughs> and it will be again in like six months. Well, six you? months? <laughs> oh, the three months, probably. Doesn't matter how many months. Either way, somebody would probably be performing again. Uh, <laughs> well, unfortunately, the stage was also destroyed. Okay, once again, it will be rebuilt. And when it happens, you will be performing again. Okay, but only if you join me, Mr. Faison. Wait, <laughs> are you famous? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm kind of famous. I mean, I'm trying to get my, my tweets up. I mean, my, my ratings up. But I think by now we kind of got, we've kind of made ourselves famous, right? What team means is he's trying to get more trading cards. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 those things that I saw <laughs> in the store with all the, oh, got it. Yeah, the people in the costumes and things. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I and mean, when, you know, uh, before you know, you, know it, Kim, you will be, you will be on a trading card. Mark my words. Yes, you will. <gasps> His eyes just like turn into stars. <laughs> he just like really you really think so mortal wind pipes up of i well with the little i know about your cavalier operations you all put in the effort to avert a great crisis within the city i think as soon as you walk out Everyone, as he point, as his tail points to like everyone who you could only imagine bared witness to what happened in the sky. It did seem that a news report caught the fall, so you could only imagine a mortal wind pipes up again. I, I, I don't see why all of you wouldn't be recognized as anything but heroes to this city. Take you too, Mr. Wind. Thank you, but we'll probably be viewed as villains to the Wonderworks fans. <laughs> uh, it depends Maybe which give political party anyone. gets gets a hold of the press release. Yeah, speaking of which. Yeah. Ale, uh, yeah. You were kind of acting fishy as if something was wrong with you being on TV. What? Let's not talk about that now. We have to deal with Kostya. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you famous too? No! 
<laughs> Let's bad guy deal with him. <laughs> as as you all right. decide on what to do, um. Hopefully, Gaston does recognize you. You see Volkov start to try to pull himself up. Nope, I'm putting a, a foot on his <laughs> chest, push him down. <laughs> I don't uh, think so, Mister. As as you do so, Heartshine, Vol Volkov's voice doesn't leave his mouth, but an unfamiliar one. Smart move. Very smart move. Who are you? Uh, what in the hell? 